Symptoms of cirrhosis. Cirrhosis of the liver is the diagnosis given when the liver becomes scarred and the functional tissue of the liver is decreased. This means there are fewer cells taking care of all the functions of the liver. Thus, the rate of nutrient processing, hormone creation, drug detoxification and toxin removal slows down remarkably. About 30,000 people die from cirrhosis each year in the U.S. according to the Centers for Disease Control. There are two stages of cirrhosis, the early stages and the end stages. The end stages could lead to death. Here's a synopsis of these two stages below. Early phases. There's still time to turn back the hands of time to the time when someone didn't have cirrhosis if you catch it in the early stages. However, you must be proactive. Don't think that it will happen on its own. Early phases of cirrhosis. Here are the symptoms that occur in the early phases of cirrhosis. Inflammation. Scar tissue forming in the liver, seen with a biopsy. End phases of cirrhosis. Here are the symptoms that occur in the later phases of cirrhosis. Fatigue. No appetite to eat even foods you love. Stools are not brown but rather are clay colored. Bloody stool. Itchy skin. Sleepiness. Swelling in the ankles. Swelling in the legs. Swelling in the abdomen, called ascites from bacterial infections that attack the peritoneal lining. Variceal bleeding. Fever. Weight loss without trying. Bleeding, due to the liver's inability to handle the production of clotting factors. Urine appears dark colored, either orange or brown. Urination is less than normal. Yellowed skin and whites of the eyes. Confusion or disorientation. Changes in personality. Kidney failure. Liver transplant. Hepatic encephalopathy. Liver cancer. Enlarged spleen. From this symptoms list, you will see that there are very few symptoms in the early stages of cirrhosis. When the condition progresses, that's when all the symptoms come. Ascites is when the abdomen enlarges so much that breathing may be affected. It occurs when albumin levels are too low and when the pressure in the liver's blood vessels is high. The type of kidney damage that occurs is reflected in the dark urine. Urinating less than usual, swelling of the abdomen, jaundiced skin, confusion, nausea and vomiting. These changes occur because the kidneys are not getting their usual blood flow. As a result, they cut back on their own blood flow. The veins enlarge as an adaptation to the high pressure in the portal arteries. This may occur in the esophagus or the stomach. This is called the production of varices. The walls of the affected blood vessels become thin and twist, appearing as a snake. The stools may turn black when this happens because there is internal bleeding. Encephalopathy of the liver also occurs because of a buildup of toxins that should have been detoxified but weren't due to the inability of the liver to detoxify itself. One of them is ammonia, and when it accumulates in the brain, it can lead to confusion, personality changes, and coma. Even death may result. If cirrhosis occurred from hepatitis C, cancer of the liver may also occur. Eating the typical modern diet, which is full of processed foods, chemicals, sugar and alcohol is bad news for your liver. Because the continual buildup of toxins eventually sends it into overdrive. Which can lead to other serious problems, such as cancer, heart attack, stroke and so on. So if you're feeling sluggish, have poor health, and are feeling drained from energy. There's a good chance you're suffering from fatty liver. In fact one in three people all over the world have it. But don't worry it's easy to rectify the problem with fatty liver remedy. It's a step-by-step -step program that reverses the damaging effects of a fatty liver. And because it's all natural it's safe to use. Check out the link in the description to learn more about the fatty liver remedy.